If you're obsessed with Jane Birkin and Jeanne de Mas and anything related to French girl style, then you will know that the number one spring accessory that every French girl owns, not really, but you know what I mean, is a straw bag. Welcome back! If you're a regular subscriber and welcome to the channel if you're brand new, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. It would be an honor to have you. And don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that when I release a new video, you will be the very first to know. YouTube has introduced a new feature where you can skip ahead to different portions of the video. They're called chapters. Just skip ahead and I'll show you all the different straw bags that I own if that's interesting to you. I hope it is. It's very fascinating to me. I have a really extensive collection. I consider myself a straw bag connoisseur, so I think this is going to be a fun ride for you. And I will share with you where I got these items. Hint, hint, they're mostly from the thrift store. And where you can find items like this too. My favorite straw bag is something that I acquired when I was in fourth grade, and so I actually still own it. And if you want to see this straw backpack, then wait to the end of this video. Okay, the oldest straw bag that I have is this 1950s black straw bag with these black beads and a wooden handle and then these brass, I guess you'd call them brackets, I forget what you'd call them, but it is so beautiful. I got this at the thrift store and it's handmade in Italy. This is something that probably cost me I think ten dollars and it's in perfect condition there's absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever and you can feel the paper you can see the weaving and I just love this piece because it's it's a piece of history in my opinion it's kind of big too so I think it's a perfect summer accessory this could be something that you wear out at night you could wear it with jeans and a striped t-shirt and a trench coat I just think if you want to make a bold statement this would be a really beautiful piece to have this is one of my favorite pieces in the whole wide world. This is like just straw. This is a simple little straw bag with a wooden, double wooden handle. It's got a very basic zipper and then a basic cotton interior with a little extra zipper pouch. Who knows where this was originally from? I certainly don't know, but I love this bag. I wear it quite often in the summertime and I get a lot of compliments on it and actually holds a lot more than you might think. The thrift store really is the best place in the world. My next 90s purchase is this really, really, really silly straw bag that has this floral embroidery on it and then it has this gingham interior which, come on, that's so cheesy and cute. But I love the size of it, it feels so teensy tiny and like I could totally see this being worn by like you know, all the super cool French it girls and with espadrilles and cut off denim shorts and like a really nice florally or lacy white top. I think this would just be a great accessory to add to anything, honestly. You could wear it with a dress, you could wear it with skirts, slacks even. I just, I just adore this piece so, so much. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Where would we be without our straw market bag? Now, this isn't the most uh, ubiquitous kind of straw market bag that you would see a French girl wearing, but it's very, very similar. And I've definitely seen older pictures of Jeanne de Mas wearing this, but I love this woven bag because it's got more color. It's got like purple and brown. It's enormous and it's got these beautiful leather straps and so I probably paid like six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars, something like that, something around that range. And I get so much wear out of this in the summertime. I wear this pretty much every single day and I wore something very similar to it with a zipper on top with me to Paris in September in 2019. And I will tell you that straw bags were pretty much on their way out. But spring and summer is really when I see French girls wearing straw bags and they're usually looking very chic and very minimal so they're 
that very classic Moroccan style or um, kind of like French market bag style that's the light colored raffia with the leather straps. You can find any of these styles of bags on Etsy. You can just search like raffia handbag or straw woven handbag. I will put some links in the description box below of examples of these bags so that you can go and check them out yourself or shop for them yourself. Amazon actually carries that French market bag that I'm talking about, so you're not gonna be left out if you wanna get it. Okay, we're moving right up into the 90s, and you guys saw this in my recent uh, Rouge Dupes, and this is a very awesome Rouge Dupe. This is a 90s Y2K straw bag. This is woven material, and it's got this little seashell type pattern on, on it, and then these you know, woven handles and it's got, I believe, kind of like a linen or cotton interior with several different compart compartments. And then it has this really handy cell phone case from the 90s with a little wooden bead. Again, I've got lots of straw bags to choose from, so this guy will be a fun one to wear this summer. And again, you can wear that with dresses and shorts, linen, cotton, you can wear it with jeans, slacks, you name it, it's it's the accessory to go with every outfit. Next, we have another rouge dupe, and I'm gonna be straight up with you. This is not an authentic rouge handbag, okay? So this definitely looks like the rouge handbag. Everything about it is, is rouge, but I got this on Etsy. It is from an Etsy seller who probably makes these bags for rouge. The only difference, I'm not lying to you, the only difference that I was able to discern is that the rouge bag has a little metal medallion right here that says rouge and I think it has a metal snap, like a magnetic snap. But I believe the person, the people who make this for rouge are based in China and they're selling these bags on Etsy and they're identical. So I will leave that in the description box below if I was able to find it. Tell me if this is you. Have you ever been on the street and you saw a girl wearing something really cool and you were like, I love your bag. And then she turned around and was like, thank you. If that's happened to you, comment below. I am the girl that says, thanks so much. I got it, blah, 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 blah. You can get it too, la, la, la. So this is an awesome find. I think it was like $60. Uh, which is still a lot for a straw handbag, but you know, compared to all the other ones that I've paid for, this is like by far the most expensive one, but it's way, way, way cheaper than buying the Rouge, authentic Rouge one. So I don't think a straw bag is something that's like, th she didn't have these super branded anyways, so I don't think it really mattered that much is what I'm trying to say. But if there's like a giant Chanel logo on it or something, then I think that would be weird. But it's just, basic and simple and I've got a little thrifted scarf, silk scarf tied to it as well. The straw bag that wins all straw bag contests is obviously the Jane Birkin basket. And Cuckoo Bee, which is a fantastic company, again I will link them below, made their very own Birkin basket, I want to say in 2017 or 2018, and I got this on Amazon. It's got their little removable metal um, branded label here, which you can see but it has the leather strap to hold the lid and it's got this cotton linen lining with a little pocket there. I've actually worn this out a couple of times since getting it, but it, it made me feel so special. I don't think it's something that a lot of people in my city would really know about or appreciate, but I can imagine that if you live in a larger city, this might be a little bit kitschy, it might be a little bit cliche. There's always a time and a place to bring this kind of bag back into your life, and there are French girls that I follow on Instagram that do still wear bags like this, so it is still an authentic piece, but it can tend to be slightly more kitschy at times, but I personally really love it. They're heavier, heavier wood if you will. This is like actually a legit basket, you know? So, and I I do tuck the cuckoo bee um, piece in here like that, and then I'm good to go. So definitely check out cuckoo bee. They've got some really fantastically cute accessories and bags, so I love this very, very much, and I will wear this this summer and this spring. 
Okay, we've got two more bags. One of them you've seen. One of them is my bag from 1994 being a child, a little baby child, and I still have it, if you can believe that. But the one that you've seen is this leather Tory Burch bag with some synthetic raffia here on the side, and then these gold, this gold or brass hardware. I really love this bag. It was from this thrift store. I think I paid like $11.99 for it. It's got all these really cool compartments this is the bag I'm currently using. It's got my wallet, my receipts, my mask, has some lotion and whatnot in here. And I love this long strap that's adjustable as well. So this isn't something that would typically be my style, but I actually really fell in love with it. I love this bag. It goes with everything. I think it's such a fantastic find for it being a designer handbag. And it's such a great little summer, spring transitional piece. And it goes with so many different outfits. I love it this. Do, 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 do. You've waited to the very end. Now you get to see Bree's, baby Bree's little favorite backpack that's made out of straw. Let me rustle it out of the pile. Here it is. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. It's got this velcro, these two little velcro closures and then this leather kind of strap that holds it together. And it's got these long backpack straps. I don't think this was made for children because this is still really long on me, but I had to have it when I was little. I absolutely loved this and I carried like my little journal with my pen inside and just, you know, all my other little things. And my mom kept it and I'm so glad that she did because it's such a sentimental piece to me and of course I think I should still probably try to wear it. But yeah, as you can see, having a straw bag addiction is not necessarily a bad thing. It can be a really good thing and straw bags are very versatile. They come in all shapes and sizes. They come, you know, even larger than what I've shown you. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They don't have to be like a neutral color. They don't have to be secondhand. They can be designer if you want them to be like the Tory Burch one or the Cuckoo Bee one or the Rouge one. There's even a beautiful company called Somme that is in Paris and they make small batch collections of these beautiful woven bags. I'll try to link as much as I can in the description box below, but before I let you guys go, I would absolutely love to know which of these was your favorite and which one are you most excited to try to find at the thrift store? Do you have a straw bag? Do you like wearing your straw bag? How do you style your straw bag? And if you don't yet have one, what are you most excited about doing with your straw bag when you get one? <laughs> Please stay tuned because next week is going to be a big Mother's Day video featuring my mom. My mom is returning for Mother's Day, so don't miss out on that. And I'm going to be doing a spring slash summer accessories video that's not featuring any of these bags. So that's gonna be really fun and I've been working really hard on that video. I cannot wait to share it with you. I just, I cannot wait. It's going to be so cute and so fun. There are gonna be so many neat accessories in there for you to take a peek at. These are essentials that I think any girl needs to have in her wardrobe. So that is it for this week. Thank you for again listening to my rambles. Thank you for subscribing and for turning on the bell notification. I hope you're having a fantastic week wherever you are. I so appreciate you and I will see you guys next week. Take really good care and P.S. don't forget to watch these videos right here. Watch some of these glorious videos right here. I think they're right, right here.